Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales from, from Outer, Outer Space. Space. I hope you enjoy. Story number one: A Bug Problem, written by Katani seventy seven. Kavor was three galactic standard days from leaving the military. He thumbed through some entries in his journal with his paws, pausing to stroke his worn claw across the hollow pick of his wife and three cubs. The Kirin were a proud and noble race, but they had their softer sides, not like the enemies they were chasing across this part of the galaxy. The Aranthos were a ruthless, insectoid race of bioengineered technology. What they couldn't destroy, they would infect with everything from logic plagues for the shipboard AI systems, a fancy way of saying programmed paradoxes, to actual biological warfare that will consume and dissolve all living tissues. Preventing boarding was the cable's job. Seven seconds to contact, the cold and comfortingly neutral voice of the ship's AI stated. Kavor and his squadron of shock troopers manned the main airlocks, waiting for the telltale thud of a boarding vessel latching to the side. Be ready, man. Bio shields and maximum. A thick smell of ozone filled the air as the personal shields energized around them, giving each trooper a faint light blue glow. Dud! The ship shuddered as the boarding pond latched onto the airlock, extending its tendrils around the side of the ship. A metallic gnashing could be heard outside as the mandibles of the half-organic, half-machine began chewing its way through the airlock doors. Soon, the Aranthos would begin spewing out the maw of the boarding pod's orifice. Nash, crunch, nash, crunch. Airlock integrity field failing, the AI chimed in, slightly more stilted than usual. The plague, Cable thought to himself. We'll all lose AI's control of the ship. Trooper to Dull, secure the shipboard AI. Cable looked over his shoulder to see a trooper enter the core room and the second later. The confirmation of the AI had been deactivated. A new trick that they had learned in dealing with the Aranthos. Form up! Squad A on me! Squad B at Junction 3! The orders conveyed a confidence that Kavor did not actually possess at that moment. The ship's automated system sounded off. Hellbridge! Emergency! Hellbridge! Far less tactful, those systems there, Chieftain. One of the troopers quipped. Shut up and fire! Kavor yelled as the first of the Aranthos soldier cast poured into the hallway, covered in a red exoskeleton and the signature three white stripes of their cast. The creature stood twice the height of the Karen and had to stoop slightly in the corridor. Immediately sensing the trap, the Aranthus lifted its wings, casing, and emitted a cloud of orange claws before a laser bolt ripped its head clean off. Masks! Kavor ordered. While the bioshields could prevent the usual bioweapons, it did nothing for the neurotoxins the soldiers could emit. The squad's armor automatically extended the breathing masks over the muzzles of the troopers as two more warriors entered the hallway, only to be ripped to shreds by the Karen's rifles. Squad B, cover us! The boarders were repelled one by one as Squad A advanced to the airlock. Kara, place the charge! A smaller of the troopers, but were much more agile than light armor, ran forward and threw a satchel into the mouth of the boarding pod. Seconds later, it abruptly began foaming at the throat. No! Kavor yelled. A structural force field erected itself across the airlock, just as the boarding pod fell off dead. Captain, the boarding pod is neutralized, Kavor said, as they began tossing parts of the Aranthos bodies through the field and into space. Good to hear, Chieftain, but we have some unidentified guests here. Get to tactical as soon as you can. This may get ugly for us. Kavor left his troops to do the jobs and sprinted on all falls to the tactical center of the bridge. What are they? Simeon, we think. Can't be sure. Very strong, though. The captain spoke as he pulled up a hollow image of a strange-looking ship entering the combat area. You only got half the boarding party visiting you because it looks like the Aranthos were already dealing with these creatures. He mentioned as the image zoomed out to show the majority of the Aranthos fleet focusing his attention on the new ship and losing badly. 
The ship appeared to be roughly rectangular, with a long row of cargo containers and techs trailing behind it. Several gun placements were rapidly tracking and destroying Aranthos ships all around. Suddenly, the communication system lit up. Do so, sir, came across the ship's comms. Engineer Carl to re-engage shipboard AI as soon as the rogue logic plague processes are cleared, the captain said. Gold ran to the core room as fast as his legs could carry him. After a few moments, They are engaged, sir, came the reply. R-69, ah, are you online and functional? Captain asked in the ship's systems. Yes, sir. Performing battlefield analysis, new species discovered. Does not patch any known records. Analyzing. Complete. Species calls themselves humans and originate from a star projected to be near here as the human's vessel does not appear to be capable of warp travel. Negotiating with human communication systems, compatible radio wave systems detected at 27.185 MHz. Sending linguistics codex. Human vessel contains AI of similar capability. Negotiating. Negotiating. Success. Language exchange added to universal translator matrix. The communications was repeated in Karen. This is Deep Space Hauler Snowman of the Soul System. We see that you got a bug problem. We'll have it cleared up in a few minutes, then maybe we can grab a beer. Snowman out. End of story. Story number two. Meeting the neighbors. A first contact conversation. Communications link online. Humanity. Hi, we're humans, and we come from Earth. We're new to the galaxy and very excited to meet another intelligent race. Kabiski. Yes, yes, we know. You've been shamelessly broadcasting attention-seeking transmissions all across the cosmos for centuries now. Oh, wow. So our messages will be received all along. Unfortunately. Now, um, if you'll excuse us, we're very busy. What? Wait. Don't go. We haven't even properly introduced ourselves yet. <sighs> Make it brief. Well, for a start, we'd just like to say how much of an honor it is to meet you. This is a really big moment for us and... Uh, get to the point. Oh, so, um... Uh, how about we open lines of diplomacy and trade? Why the hell would we want to trade with you? Um... We have a vibrant culture and a booming industrial complex, and I'm sure we have something of value that you guys might want. Right? You guys don't even have miniaturized dark energy reactors, do you? Uh, no? It's amazing that you primates ever made it to space. Okay, look, I know you guys probably have a lot of amazing technology and stuff, but could you not be so condescending? We're trying to be friendly here. I'd rather not be friends with the species of hairless monkeys. That spends entire work days mindlessly checking the social network news feeds. All right, uh, I guess we're not exchanging Facebook friends requests, sir. Uh, but at the very least, can you let us observe you guys a little? We really are excited to meet you. And um, there's so much that we can learn from you. Uh, uh, please, we'll make sure to stay out of your way. Do whatever you want. Can we go now? Yeah, we promise that we won't be any trouble. It'll be like we don't even exist. If only... Ah! What the flying crap foot is that? What? That? That thing you sent? What the weed-eating boot hole did you send? Oh, that? Oh, it, it, it's a Von Neumann probe. A what? You know, a, a self-replicating nanomachine. It absorbs material from the surrounding environment to duplicate itself. We figured that, since you're so far ahead of us, that we'd need to learn knowledge at an exponential rate in order to catch up. A self-replicating nanomachine? Are you insane? Do you have any idea how many levels of dangerous that is? No, 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 they're perfectly safe. Uh, they've only been programmed to absorb knowledge. They should stop replicating once they have enough probes to scan all your technology. Oh, God! They're devouring our moon! Uh, they, um... It might need a little more expansion than we thought. Uh, exactly how advanced are you guys? Sweet mother of the stars, they've eaten the entire population of Arianex. Oops. No, please, not the planet's cock. Oh, God, turn them off, turn them off, quickly. Uh, yeah, um, 
the off switch. Uh, see, uh, the, the, the thing is... Ah! Hello? Um, is, is everything all right? Hello? Um, are you still there? Hey, if you're not all dead, could, could you send us back up our Newman probes? Uh, also, we're very sorry about the inconvenience. Uh, probably you should have said that first. You know what? You're probably busy, so we'll just leave you to it. Uh, call us back if you need anything. Communications link terminated. End of story. I would quickly like to thank the T5 channel members and Patreons. Casper Arnholtz, Cam Maxwell, Barky, Lord Azrakal, It's Difficult to Pronounce, Dragzoon, WRE, Holly's Sister, Arcadian. Thank you very much.